So today I'm making Elizabeth Afton from FNAF, from Sister Location Game specifically. And yeah, so let's get started. So in my imagination, I always think of Elizabeth as Pell, because we know she is a ginger, and gingers tend to be more paler than I would assume. But you could, like, make her orange, blonde, darker blonde. You could basically do her hair any color you want, or you could stick to the original design and make her hair orange. I don't think it matters what type of orange. So I do prefer bright orange, even though this is not bright orange. But I am making this character based off my imagination, not by a photo or anything else. Feel free to use my design if you really want to use it, because this is not my original design. As I have another actual designer for for real, but I don't care if you credit me or don't credit me. I really just don't care. I do love to use these eyes for kids who are, like, young because it basically shapes off as a kiddish design. Though, I normally make her eyes green, but I do always add a blue eyeball, which I do do later on in the video. And the uh, quick design is make sure you don't forget the bow. I always forget the bow no matter what I do. I just didn't forget the bow a lot. But I do always end up adding the bow in later. But this time I did not forget about the bow. So we are good. As we know she does have a button rip shirt. As we can tell by like the buttons on her. Which I think she has the buttons on her. I not 100% sure. I do tend to go with this type of pink. Other than like a hot pink, I go with a more tilted hot pink. But this is also a dark hot pink. Um, I really don't know what this type of pink is called. So if you know, please correct me. We have a lot of button shirts, so it doesn't really matter what button shirt you use. You could use any of that company's the style of what you're going for. Um, now for her skirt, I feel like the skirt is a little bit harder to do, but I do just go out with a more flowy skirt this time that is blue. Please do not forget her white socks and black shoes. And I don't like kind of give her like the slippers vibe. Which you will see at the end, which I know that you can't see her shoes right now, but you will be able to see it at the end later on. And as you see now, I am now adding the blue tint of the eye as I always do. I do like to add a six blush and make it a little bit lighter. I just think it accompanies the look. I do like to give her a little bit of a shadow sometimes. I just think it makes fits the whole feel of her being dead. Sometimes I will remove the eye glimpses in her eyes, but I think I had forgotten to do it in this one. But I do like to add blood, and I do like to move the blood or rotate it to her stomach to be on her cheek. As you see that I am doing that now. Her neck just felt very empty to me, so I did in 
end up adding something else to accompany her neck because I just did not like how it looked so empty. So I did do it, but I didn't make sure it matched the shirt color so it didn't look too off brand. It didn't match at all. So I did do that. And here she is. Isn't she lovely? This is the design. Of course, this is not my actual design, but that's just her as we know. Bye, my lovelies. Bye.